Hello, my friend, and welcome back to another replay cast. Got a really special one here for you today. I haven't watched this yet, but I was taking a look on Seawall GG, and I found this little series between JYJ and Rain. And I downloaded it, but I hadn't casted it yet. And then Dude Nerd sent me these replays, the exact same ones. I was like, man, you got to cast these. So I'm really excited. I, I think we got a banger here, guys. And so we're going to jump right into this one. JYJ, former ASL champion. And of course, Rain, former ASL champion as well. So we've got two ASL champions here duking it out on the ladder. Mini Maxi. Definitely the king of min maxing his builds. Rain. Versus JYJ, just such a solid Terran macro player. We'll see what type of build he wants to bring out here to try and take down Rain, because Rain is just such a beast. I think uh, Rain's PVT might be one of his worst matchups, if I'm remembering correctly. Definitely his PVP is his best. But I can't remember his stats for PVT just off the top of my head. I guess I might as well bring those up since we've got a minute here as things start to warm up in this game. We'll just go ahead and take a look at these stats. What have we got here? Rain with a... 51.8%. Yeah, that's right. 51.8% win rate in PVT. So not the greatest win rate in PVT. Definitely his PVP and PVZ matchups really outshining those win rates. Meanwhile, JYJ at 42%. Oh, no, that's uh, that's wrong. 41% in PVP. Man, holy crap. JYJ really not having... A great win rate in many of these matchups. Looks like we have a Nexus first here out of rain. It's going to throw a gateway on high ground with that assimilator coming up. This is about as greedy as it gets. So we'll see if JYJ can come across the map and punish this. He's going to send his Marines immediately upon seeing this. Yeah, if you're this greedy... It's kind of crazy. Second barracks. All right. Here we go. JYJ really going to put on the pressure here. He's probably going to start a bunker and bunker push this. If I had to guess. Although he's waiting for these extra Marines to come down. Three Marines going to hit the front here. Zealot is already uh, in the front. He's already arrived. So it's going to really be up to the early game micro here out of JYJ. If he can kill the Zealot without taking much damage, without losing any Marines here, then he should be in a good spot. But if he ends up losing all his Marines right off the bat, this could be really wild. Oh, an Academy coming up as well. So really important that he doesn't lose any Marines here. He's got to be very careful. Oh, 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 that block was insane. That was insanity. JYJ blocking so perfectly with that SCV. So he takes a bit of damage on this one. Does lose one of those Marines. So that's a little bit painful. He's going to lose another. Unfortunate. Losing two Marines here. And he's probably going to lose a third. Unless he can just barely get out of the way of this. Wow. That Zealot decided not to attack. Mercy. Zealot there. Goes ahead and lets him pass. Pulling the SCVs now. Are these actually going to run to the front? Or are they just going to get stuck here in the main base? Looks like they're getting stuck for now. Marine's coming up. He hasn't revealed the fact that he's gone for medics just yet. But he revealed how many Marines there are. And that's probably good enough for Rain to figure out what's going on. He really needs to heal these two Marines before he goes any further. Otherwise, he's probably going to end up losing at least one of them here. Ooh! Just barely getting the heal on that before getting sniped. Robotics facility is on the way, so if he can buy enough time here for a Reaver to come out, he is going to be able to hold. 
pulling all the probes out of here. He's just going to abandon the natural bear. Bunker comes down. Rain knows exactly what he needs to do here. He's building a shield battery on the high ground. He's just going to try his best to hold on until he gets this reaver out. Great surround on these Marines. Going to kill these Marines very nice and quick. Quite a few probes go down, but that's 100% fine. You don't care about probes right now. He's actually going to pull like nearly every probe here to fight at the front. He needs to stay alive right now. That is it. Staying alive is the number one priority. Everything else is number two. Lots of probes getting shot down right now. Rain losing quite a few of them, but he's doing what he needs to to survive here. Using this shield battery, it's running low on energy. Just 41 hit points can be recovered for this from here on in. Just about done with the singularity charge upgrade, but range is going to finish on the marines here, so you can't outrange this bunker. You're going to need a reaver here, and that reaver is on the way now. Going to be pumping out here pretty soon. Four dragoons on that high ground. Again, you cannot range the bunker here with the... Uh, Dragoons, you have to... Oh, God. He's actually going to come up this ramp. The Singularity Charge is not done. Uh, probes are being pulled. Going to go ahead and fight with the probes. No uh, uh, medics getting up here. And actually, these medics have no energy left. So you can't really bust up this ramp anymore. No chance of getting up that ramp. So he is going to have to transition from here. The Reaver is going to come out. And we have two factories on the way. So here comes that Reaver. And the moment that's out, he's going to bust this bunker and he should be able to get out here. Yeah, you, you can outrange this. Sorry. Uh, that is a problem when you go for the range. The dragoons just cannot outrange that bunker. Coming out. Onto the map now. Dropping the reaver on the other side of the bunker. Bunker going to be abandoned with just a single marine inside. It's the stim button. He's going to try and go for this reaver, but backs away immediately. Realizing that that's not going to be a possibility. Dudded Scarab there. Not doing anything for Rain, but he's coming across the map now with a very scary force. You cannot hold on against this with just pure Marine. You need to have something other than this to back these units up. You need some mech. You need some mech here. You need some tanks. You need some vultures. And here comes that shuttle. The Turret's just barely going to finish up in time, but there's still a hole here where he can try to break through. Nice dodge with the SCV there. Bunker's taking some damage. It is going to end up getting picked off right now. Jumping into the bunker. Going to have to fall back now. JYJ in a lot of trouble here. Rain dropping the Reaver on the low ground. Going to force away this command center and run up right up here into the main base that's way too many dragoons for this small amount of terran units he needs to kill this reaver and even if he did kill the reaver the dragoons may be able to take this game from this position sieging up away from these dragoons he's gonna try and get some good shots in here but there's a, a reaver of course and the tanks are just gonna get knocked down we get one more shot with the tank. He does get one final shot with that tank, but the Reaver is still very, very healthy here. Really amazing control from Rain. Pulling this Terran player apart. Oh, the surround. Pretty annoying there. Should be getting a tank out in just a second. There's a Vulture. The tank pops. He does kill that Dragoon. Getting a couple more shots on this Reaver. Taking it pretty low. Can he actually finish it off now? We're at 23 to 23, and there's no Nexus just yet. It's about a quarter of the way done. So just tracking this Reaver. He's going to have another tank coming out here pretty soon. Oh, almost losing that shuttle as well. Going to drop the Reaver one more time. Can he get some more good damage here? Drops the Reaver, takes a shot. Oh, Ooh, he had to run through that. Oh my god, Dragoon's just running up into the main. Oh god, this might be it. I think he's got it. I think Rain has got it. I did not see those dragoons coming. Looks like he was trying to get in a position to block here with the two barracks, but not able to land it in time. Rain runs straight through that defense. And with only one tank and uh, almost no HP on that, he ends up winning that game. 17 kill Reaver. Jeez.
nasty, nasty Reaver here. You cannot be pulling moves like that on Rain. And for exactly that reason, JYJ, he tried it. He failed. And now we're going to jump into game number two. All right. In that last game, Rain really did everything perfectly there. He realized what was happening. He immediately went into a Reaver. And he made sure that he held that ramp at all costs. Forcing JYJ back time and time again with the probe pull. It doesn't matter if you lose a bunch of probes in that situation. You know that your Reaver push is going to be insanely powerful. And building the... Uh, shield battery on high ground was a nice touch. Really made things a lot harder for JYJ to try and push through that position. Try to get up that ramp. Against the probe pull and the dragoons with the support of the shield battery. Now we're here on Dark Origin. We'll see what JYJ decides to pull out. Are we going to have another Nexus first here from Rain as well? We've got the low ground pylon. I'm expecting a gateway. But I'm not sure if that's what Rain wants to go with actually pulling out right now. I think this is going to be a gateway. Surely it's not a forge, right? Surely not. Okay. Gateway here at the front. He's going to throw down some early zealot aggression. Already over here with the probe. He could steal the gas. It's totally a possibility here on this two-player map. And it looks like he will do. And snagging that gas is going to be very annoying for JYJ. But of course, ASL... Former champion, he's not going to be phased by such a small inconvenience here. He's certainly played against this plenty of times. We'll be sending out an uh, SCV to figure out what his opponent will be doing. Is he going for Nexus first or will he be putting on some pressure? And when he sees that gateway, he'll know exactly what he needs to do. Set up a nice... Sim City here with which to deal with that zealot. He also places factory probably up here. Maybe right here. Somewhere where it's near this Sim City so that he can simultaneously fight with the zealot from the Sim City and defend his factory at the same time. Gonna pull off three SCVs to kill this assimilator. And drop a bunker here at the front. So he's gonna go ahead, get the bunker here. So that any zealot that tries to run by is going to take a fair amount of damage. It probably will. He probably will still come into the main base. If I had to guess. But at least he's going to take some good damage here running by. And that sh this uh, zealot in the bunker should help to... Or this uh, marine in the bunker should help to have him get a command center going here. Because the whole time you're chasing the SCV that's building the command center, you're going to be taking damage from that marine. So here we go. The first marine taking a little, uh, just one hit there. Ooh, good backing away there by JYJ. Almost got blocked by that second marine, but manages to pull back. Ooh, this marine thinking about hopping over the mineral patches there, but does move to the side. We'll be able to force this way back through this little, this, uh, this uh, Sim City here in order to defend. Second Zealot is here. Did take some damage running by, but it didn't stop to kill the SCV here on the command center. So that, that uh, command center is still building for now. Good target fire here by JYJ to get rid of one of those uh, Zealots while only losing a single Marine. Does he get a second? Oh, great block with that one uh, SCV there. Keeping the Marine alive for an extra bit of time. Losing another Marine, but trading out for another Zealot. And not losing too much mining time with his SCVs either. This has been a pretty decent hold overall for JYJ. He's going to get his factory up and running here. He's got his command center nearly completed as well. And the, as the Nexus here finishes. Now have the command center finish up. And things are looking pretty even. So all in all, traded three Zealots for, I think, three Marines. And no SCVs were killed in the process. As far as I could see, exactly even on the workers here between these two legendary players, Citadel of Adun 
on the way. So follow up from rain. I think we're going to see some DT, my boys. DT's on the way here. We'll see what rain wants to do with them. Bunker being placed here beside the gateway. He wants to try and bait this zealot to come out and fight. And if when he does, he's probably going to move the the SCV to try and run by. Try to run by with the SCV. Try to get in the main and get some scouting information. Bunker is almost complete here, though. It doesn't have much HP. Nice targeting on the zealot to get rid of that. Only trading out for just one. Oh, look at how close that was to finishing. So darn close there to finishing that bunker. It looks like just one hit on a bunch of these Marines. Looks like he'll get one more probe for his efforts. I don't think he'll get one more, but did it try his best there. Tried his darndest to get that done. Looks like a drop coming through here. So Rain going to follow up with a DT drop. Engineering Bay is on the way here for JYJ. So he may have some... He might have a turret here. He might have a turret here. But we'll see if he's able to defend against this DT drop. Will he have the necessary resources to keep himself alive? Mines aren't going to help you too much unless you're laying them everywhere inside the main base. If you're laying them out here in the front, the dropship's just going to fly right past that and get those DTs into your main. So hopefully he will have some more defenses. A couple of Marines moving out with a tank. JYJ wants to put on some more pressure here. And this may reveal the fact that we've gone DT drop just by the fact by uh you know forcing Rain to actually defend with the DTs rather than attack with them. So the quicker that JYJ finds out about this, the better. As long as he doesn't lose all these units, he should be fine. Here he comes, running up to the front here. Now he sees the DTs. The DTs have been revealed. He should just pull away from this now. Looks like one mine going to connect. This tank is probably not going to make it back home, especially with this goon coming out to help. There he sees the shuttle, runs in and just loses the vultures for free. That's not a good look. Back at home, he's got some turrets up. Looks like he managed to kill the probe once again. The one that was planning to take the third base, it looks like. Gonna kill this Dragoon as well, just barely. We're still a little ways off from getting a observer out, so he can't actually move out just yet. Rain can't to go and clear this. But he's gonna come across the map now and see if he can't deal some damage. Coming in with the two DTs. Is he going to drop right on top of this missile turret? Or will he drop outside of the range of the missile turret and try to run in? If he does, he could be in a lot of trouble. Looks like he's just going to drop over here. Try to kill the machine shop. Interesting choice from Rain, who's going to have some mines here. Coming up to try and connect. He's going to try to pick up this DT. Looks like he... Didn't pick it up quite in time there. Took some damage from that mine. Clearing out. Oh, he lost a Dragoon. That's unfortunate. Especially when you've got an Observer. You shouldn't be losing Dragoons to that. Trying to drop in any place that he can. That can deal a little bit of damage. Without losing these DTs. Might be able to bait this mine into the mineral line. Trying to place mines over here. Trying to keep this uh, re refinery alive is JYJ. He is going to be able to repair that long enough to keep this refinery alive and get the Goliath out to push this away. So really good defense here from JYJ. And this all came from the fact that he was attacking in the front right as the DT player was coming out because he was able to get the turrets all out in time. He was able to place down all the mines that were necessary to deal with this. And now Rain is in quite a difficult spot here. He hasn't been able to get his third base out. Again, sniping the probe. I think that might have been like the third or fourth probe that's been sniped here. Trying to get out to take this third base. That's so painful. That is so, so, so painful here. For our Protoss player who's now finally going to throw down his third Nexus here at 9 minutes 30. Not where you want to be. Uh, when, when you're, when you've are when you gone for this DT opener, the DT opener buys you some time because the Terran player really has to be on the back foot. They can't really move out. 
when you've got DTs, especially DT drops on the map until they have some mobile detection. Um, either the scanners and even the scanners are not going to do enough because you can always pick up the DTs after the scan goes down. So you need like Goliath plus scanner or you need a uh, science, science vessel. Now, the third base is coming down here. He's trying to transition into Arbiter, but JYJ looks like he's not going to have any of that. He's coming across the map right now, and he's going to start shooting down observers and pushing towards Rain's natural. And Rain, he needs to take this fight perfectly here to buy enough time for his Arbiters to come out. It's a pretty good spread. He's dropping uh, high, uh, the Dark Templars on top of these tanks, but the tanks... Dealing their damage, killing off a lot of these dragoons. Pretty good splitting on these dragoons to deal as much as he can. He actually kills pretty much every tank, so only one tank here going to remain. That tank coming in as a reinforcement manages to survive as well. Can Rain continue this push, or is it time to fall back? Zealots have been produced. We've got six more dragoons on the way. Three more gateways coming up right now, so Rain in a bit of a... Tizzy here trying to catch up in uh, his overall production. Some probes being sent out here. Looks like Zealots with no uh, movement speed. Be oh, there we go. Movement speed just finished for the Zealots. So having that is a huge advantage. Now bringing forward the first Arbiter. He's going to use utilize that to force out more scans. But the Zealots do disappear relatively fast. Now needs to focus down these uh, these tanks as quickly as possible. Bring him down to just one tank is very good. Okay, we got one more tank back here on the bridge. And a cannon over here to defend against these... Uh, against these uh, vultures here. But I think this tank can actually hit some of these probes over here. And maybe it can hit the uh, photon cannon as well. He's trying to force... Zealous to run forward and actually eat some of these mines. Gonna get the mines in range here to pull into these tanks. Look at that big explosion. He does manage to get the mine on the tank. He needs to kill this one last tank here. Oh, there's no, uh, there, there's no scan, I guess. No scan left over for JYJ. So it looks like JYJ has reached his limit. The number of scans he has here. He does have one more scan here. He's got one more scan there. So he should be able to hold this back. He's getting a turret, realizing that he's really running low uh, on scans overall. Uh-oh. Got a block here. Really do have to block. Don't allow the uh, vultures of JYJ to slip by into the main. They're going to come over here towards the third base now. So on the ropes is Rain at this point. He's going to be shoving back these tanks over here on the left-hand side, but... Just pure Dragoon versus tank, not gonna be the right call. Only one cannon in this mineral line hasn't been enough to hold back the vultures here and JYJ just continuing this push. He is so savage. So, so strong with his rallies, continuously hitting over and over and over again here. And you know what, this is what, this really reminds me of how JYJ was able to dominate in uh, Terran versus Zerg, is he had the most ridiculous rallies Always able to hit with his rallies over and over and over again. Not giving the Zerg player even a second of respite. And here, once again, he's managed to do it. This time uh, against Protoss, just overwhelming. Oh, great mine there. Great connection with that Zealot. Dragging the mine into some tanks. Now, gonna have to throw down one more scan. Does he have additional scans left anymore? I don't think so. No more scans left here. So maybe this is the moment where he can finally start to push out. Bring in the Dragoons forward. He's lost all of the probes at his third Nexus. That Nexus is starting to go down here. He really needs to push forward right here, right now. It's so important. In, the, in between the uh, availability of scans, there's still no scans here. He's got about 20 seconds in which he could break out. He really needs to go for it right now, though. We have stasis, so he could stasis here. If he can get a stasis on these tanks... Ah, he loses the Nexus. It's too late. I think we're going to have a, a scan now as well. It's been another 10 seconds, so I think indeed he can get a scan out. He should be throwing down stasis to actually clear this. But I haven't seen one yet. I think he's saving up for recall, realizing that he's in such a bad position. 
there's almost no way to bring this back without a Hail Mary recall into the Terran main base. He's going to try for it. Look at all of the supply here for JYJ. He might be able to... All right, this might be able to get cleared now because he hasn't been rallying forward. But man, that is so much back at home for JYJ. He's 30 supply ahead. He should be able to take this one home. Just amazing rallies across the map to make this push work. It was... uh was a little scary you know the dt drops but he handled it so so very well and now rain here struggling to find a way back into this game here comes all this army can he actually get a, an amazing stasis on this okay one stasis does go down not the greatest another stasis comes down as well but again not very good here Looks like it will do... We'll, we'll get rid of some of these. Okay, that stasis is pretty good as well. And with the third stasis coming out, I guess he manages to surround this army. Has almost two more stasis here. Needs a few more seconds to bring that up. Looks like JYJ going to come around the side here. Try to potentially pick off some of these units. Looks like the Dragoons are going to be able to fall back here but unfortunately oh great mind drag there by that one dragoon realizing that he was going to lose that clearing up these army supply in the middle pulling away his probes here he really wants to get this uh mining going but jyj delaying that as much as possible finally going to saturate his third base whereas jyj has been on a third for a very long time Rain here. Seeing his troubles now. Coming forward with this observer. He sees this massive army moving out on the map. Just pure tank vulture. Doesn't have anything to actually pick off these arbiters. But he should have EMP soon. EMP is just about to finish. And he will have energy for that. In another 20 seconds. So. We're going to have this probe coming out here. He needs to take a fourth now. Fourth base is on the menu, but slowed down once again by JYJ. A lot of this has come down to how much JYJ was able to slow the progress of the build here for Rain. Going to kill some more probes down here, dropping him to 33. He stopped this third base from going down so many times, right? I think it was two, maybe three times killing that probe as it was coming over here. So he slowed that down by so much. Rain's economy was just not quite there. JYJ being a little bit quicker on his feet. Able to deny that over and over again. And now his position is so, so good. I didn't even know how I removed that. Oh, I guess that's E. And take that away. Good 30 supply advantage. No, 40 supply advantage almost here for JYJ. He's sitting in a nice defensive position. We're going to need the most amazing stasis of all time. And actually, we need Storm too, but we don't have Storm. No Storm here for Mr. Rain. He doesn't even take his third gas just yet. He just needs minerals. He's decided that he just needs minerals right now to try and match this army of JYJ. Stasis is going to have to be absolutely insane. We're going to need like Mind Drag City here. Something crazy. Looks like he's going to go for recall, actually. Recall into the back with two Arbiters backing this up. He's going to go for the main base here. Running straight up. Okay, here we go. Can he actually... He could put a Stasis on the ramp here. Stasis on the ramp could be good. Stasis on the ramp? No. No Stasis on the ramp. Okay, he's going to put Stasis down there, though. That's also good. And maybe another recall into the main. Looks like going straight across the map for the killing blow. Recall into the main here. A lot of damage going to go down in this main base. But meanwhile, JYJ going to come in. Pick off all these probes and maybe clear everything here. One stasis goes down. There's almost nothing back at home for JYJ or for Rain right at this moment. JYJ samesies though. He's got almost nothing here. It's like we're going to lose all the factories for JYJ, but all the income has been taken away 
for rain. He's got no probes left. He's got 12 probes, and four of them down here are about to be killed. Bringing back the army now, finally, is JYJ. And he's got some uh, EMP ready. He could EMP this. Oh, he's got to put down a stasis on this ramp. Oh, EMP. Oh, EMP does go down. No stasis on the ramp here just yet. Bit of stasis. These tanks, maybe? No. Falls back up into the main. Going to be killing off a lot of this here. If he had one base mining, maybe Rain could win this. But I feel like in the current state of the game, Rain could, or JYJ going to be mining here and he's mining here. He can't really produce anything. But he's still got the stronger army. Do we have a stasis? No, we do not. Rain just out of gas. Okay, there's the stasis. Finally does go down, but all of the goons are being cleaned up. He's moving out with just a couple of goons of his own. He's got some arbiters here and a few lone um, archons as well. And I guess, you know, you can't really produce anything, can you? JYJ right now. I mean, he's got 100 supply. He should still be able to win this. Looks like he's going to kill this, uh, this nexus here. So the next is going to go down. That'll be the last of Rain's mining. Rain really is not going to have anything more to mine from here. I mean, he's got six probes total, and they're all on depleted geysers. Running across this bridge, jumping on top of these tanks. Nice stasis there. Uh, the EMP goes down on these uh, Archons. Now they're completely useless. Just three dragons, four dragons, and a dream. GG is called... Arbiter, just not quite good enough to get the job done. And JYJ gets his vengeance and takes down Rain here in the second game. And guys, I've got one last game for you. And it is a very special one. Okay, final game of the series here. And you might notice uh, things have changed. We've got Rain here at 12 o'clock as the Zerg player. And down at the bottom right. JYJ has the Protoss. Now, expect some gaffes here, guys, because we've got complete race swap. Not, you know, not playing their main race. Neither of these players are playing their main race. And uh, this, this matchup, I mean, it's not like they race swap to the opposite. We've got a Zerg player in here now. So, Rain going completely off board. Playing some Zerg uh, on the ladder here. Not sure he's even aware that this is JYJ, but JYJ probably knows that it's Rain. JYJ on his barcode. <laughs> and he's showing us some of his Protoss versus Zerg. And what is he going to start off with here? I think Gateway. Yeah, that's uh, that seems strong. Gateway seems strong. If you're a Terran player, you're like, well, Zealots are good. So let's go harass with those. We'll see how Rain deals with this early pressure. He's going to be going for a 12 hatch here. No, 11 hatch. 11 hatch. So a little bit faster of a hatchery here for Rain. We'll see how many drones he builds after this. Because that's really going to affect the timing on his pool here. Looks like he's saving all his larva. Saving up his money. He's just going to go directly for a pool. Oh! It's blocked. That's super unfortunate. Does slow that down just by a little bit. But he will throw down with a second drone. So he is going to keep that alive. Doing some damage here. JYJ being a little annoying. A little bit of an annoying little bitch. It is what it is. Drones here mining. But they won't be for long as the Zealot coming across the map. He's going to start doing some harassment. Here at the natural and main base. This is about the earliest spawning pool you can do after a hatch first though. That's about as quick as it gets. So Rain really choosing the correct build here. In order to counter this. He's decided, you know what? I don't want to take any damage from an early Zealot. 
we're just gonna make sure we have everything that we need to deal with that so he delayed his drones by quite a bit but now he's got lings out here before the zealot can make it into the main so that's very good stuff i might mess around with this build a little bit it does look pretty nice what we're seeing here from rain it's it's a lot quicker than for instance a 12 uh 12 hatch play right into a pool if you go 11 hatch and then wait for the pool i i don't know if it's perfectly uh optimal on larva but it seems like the links get out just in time before a zealot can get in there and harass your main and We've got speed here first from Rain. Rain gonna go for Link Speed. Oh, he manages to slip by here. Not a perfect position on this Zealot over there in the wall. So a bit of a mistake from JYJ. Gonna cost him a couple probes here. One, two, maybe three probes go down. All the Zealots do get, or all the Links do get cleaned up though. And Zealots are gonna head straight on across the map. Just gonna pull one probe to deal with that last single ling the particle beam ending that one ling's life four more sets of lings on the way here and he's already got four lings out so there's going to be plenty to deal with these zealots and i don't think that jyj realizes that we've gone straight into speed and there is no layer on the way at all so he just pulled off of gas and he is just building lings and drones right now so rain going for an interesting build here is a little supply block he does need to get an overlord out and i don't see one in production but he will end these zealots and now he can probably just throw down an evolution chamber go for uh ling armor go for ling armor and then put down a spore colony i think that would be the best option here for rain from this position trying to block these two positions with just a minimal number of zealots. No, the Ling's going to slip by into the main base. I guess he just didn't have the proper blocking there. Mistakes were made for JYJ. Starts a cannon in the main. But he could lose his Stargate. Stargate taking quite a bit of damage. Coming in and dealing with these with the zealots. But he's leaving, uh, you know, an opening here for the Ling's to come back. If more Ling's are being made right now. We could have seen Rain just come across the map and end JYJ here. He just run in uh, from the natural and then bring these links from the main and kill this cannon and end the game right there. But a cannon's going to finish up in the main now. It's going to try and go after the Citadel. Not going to happen. That ling, uh, that uh, cannon in the main mineral line is going to shut things down. Lair is now finally being produced. Just a few hydras popping out. So he's actually not going to go for the Evo chamber play. Just getting a few hydras out here instead. Gonna be defending this these overlords. And pure dronage from this point on. Maximum dronage coming out of our Zerg player, Rain. Proving to be pretty formidable, even as a Zerg in this matchup. Does have an Evo Chamber on the way now. Looking for some kills here in the natural. Might have gotten a couple there on the gas, but I'm not sure about that. 36 probes to 29 workers here. 29 drones for our Zerg player. He needs to get uh, Overlord speed, though. And we need a second gas. Where's the second gas? It's a little bit strange. Trying to produce Hydra upgrades. At the same Hydra and upgrades at the same time and not taking your second gas tisk tisk What is going on in your head there rain? He is gonna get that Hydra speed going hasn't lost any overlords to these uh, Corsairs just yet, but he has nothing over here at his third base and he's gonna take some damage from these five zealots These hydras are gonna be sent out and that'll be the prime opportunity for JYJ to come in and start to kill some really um juicy to pick up some really juicy uh overlord kills here going into the mineral line here goes the hydras hydras heading out he does leave two back with the overlords making sure that they won't all die here but um 
JYJ not actually sending in the Corsair. So that's a bit of a mistake as well. Really do want to take advantage of where the Hydras are not to try and deal that damage. Now he's coming in. He's going to try and go. Oh, God. He's just losing his Corsairs. Ooh, JYJ is not a Protoss player by any stretch of the imagination. Yikes. Losing all that. He is going to, however, deal quite a bit of damage over here. Almost killing this Evolution Chamber. Hydras are out, but not in enough number to easily take this fight. And he's lost quite a few drones. He's also going to lose some Hydras here, as well as the Evolution Chamber. There goes another drone down at the end of that fight. Pretty frustrating losses here for Rain. I definitely feel the pain of Rain in this certain situation. Been here before as a Zerg. Just barely going to finish this off. There we go. Gets rid of that Zealot and starts to push across the map. But we already have Psionic Storm nearly complete. He's got a Templar out here and a Dark Templar as well. And this is the real problem. Why you need to see... Why you need to get the uh, Overlord speed here. And you know what I'd also love to see? is a Spire thrown down now. Spire is awesome from here because... We just had JYJ lose all of his Corsairs. And there it is. The Spire gets dropped. So good moves here from Rain as he drones back up once again and controls the map. But he doesn't have an Overlord over here. What is he doing? One thing you really want to do. And this is interesting. Like, <laughs> it's so funny watching uh, pro players play their off race. Because you really, I feel like I really get a, a feeling uh, as to you know what is being missed by a lot of these players. What what is what are the big like difficulties and things that you you know you have to do in these matchups? Um, you know what what's missing from their play, and one of the things is like once you kill the corsairs, you have to just spread your overlords everywhere. Like grab your overlords and shift click them all over the map. Do it. Just send them everywhere because you want to know everything that's going on. And when the Corsairs aren't there to, to kind of kill them off, uh, Overlords can just sit around the map and give you perfect vision of everything that's happening. You want to like surround the Protoss player and put all around your base, put them through the middle of the map as well. Just spread them everywhere that's, so that you really have perfect information. He cleans up this base. He's going to get his six hatch online, but honestly... Rain has been slowed down, slowed down a lot in this game. The constant zealot attacks have taken their toll. He's going to get some scourge out, but he's not making that full transition into mass muta to where he can start sniping Templar and making it really difficult for JYJ to move out on the map. Here comes another zealot attack here, finally spreading out his overlords. See, this should have been done minutes ago. Maybe like a full three, four minutes ago when those Corsairs first went down and the Overlord speed was done. Could spread those out and really take advantage of the situation with his opponent not having Corsairs to deal with that. JYJ now going to have a good number of Dragoons here to push out with. How far are we from Lurker? I haven't seen it in production just yet. And I don't see Mutas either. So you really need one or the other here. Are you going to go into Lurker? It's more of like a late game play because eventually you do want to get into Ling Lurker. And there's the Lurker aspect upgrade. But Muta's going to pop out as well. So he's kind of treading the line here, doing both at the same time. Seven Muta's going to pop. And we'll see if he's able to snipe any Templar here. We don't have even a single Dark Archon, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Especially with no Corsairs, you should be able to come in here and just snipe these and then take the fight with the pure uh, Hydra. But again, this is another thing that's just not optimal. That's common with players that are not, you know, pro play, even pro players who are not totally um, accustomed to how the race operates. Rain here, thinking that you can do both at once, but trying to get into Lurker and attack in. And go with the Mutas at the same time. This is not the way you want to do it. Taking the fight here and getting stormed down pretty badly. This is exactly the opposite as what you want to do. I feel like this is a great learning experience. Because what you want to do is you want to come in with the 
the Mutas and snipe the Templar, then go with the Hydras, not all at the same time, and not not controlling your Hydra or the, your Mutas either. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mistake here, but it's gonna really cost Rain in this game. He's all the way back, uh, backed into the corner now, losing all of his Hydras. Uh, coming, Hydra's coming out just one at a time here, gonna be sniped down, and GG is called. Rain taps out and leaves this game. Yeah, see, it's very clear here that Rain is not accustomed to this matchup, and many, many mistakes were made, so let's just count them off, right? We've got the late gas here. That gas should have come down quite a bit earlier so that he could make the number of Hydra, because what he was doing was he was upgrading. He had the, the speed and range, and he was trying to get uh, attack, uh, Hydralisk attack at the same time, which was actually ended up getting denied. He just didn't have the money to build enough Hydras. He didn't have the gas to build enough Hydras to defend that first Zealot attack. And that first Zealot attack, once you lose a bunch of drones and you take a lot of damage to that, um, things get really, really scary. And he took damage from that, and then he took more damage, and then he took a little bit more damage, and that kind of uh, is how things get out of control. And the one comeback mechanic that he had was those Mutas. If, when he popped out the Mutas, and he came in, if he sniped all the Templar, say before this fight happened, he come in, came in, sniped, you know, three, four, five Templar, um, which is totally possible because it was just Dragoons defending the Templar. There was no Corsair or anything like that. Then he takes this fight and comes in on a wide angle like this around the Protoss army. He could have crushed that attack and then he would have been right back into this game uh, with, you know, JYJ getting this kind of late third base uh, and almost running out of minerals here. Uh, that would have opened up the opportunity for Rain to, you know, go for the counterattack, uh, to get into Lurker and to take a fourth base and push this game forward. But guys, I've talked long enough. Thank you so much for watching this quick three-game series here between JYJ and Rain. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.